So now in this video, we're going to look at using a couple NPN transistors here to make basically a voltage controlled switch. And so when I turn the voltage up, the LED turns on. When I turn it down, the LED turns off. And so we're basically looking for a certain voltage, but we also have what's called some hysteresis. So it's not one exact point that it turns on and off. So there you can see it's suddenly turned on. At this point, I'll go down a little bit, and I gotta go down a little bit more before it turns off. And I gotta work my way back up. That's hysteresis, so we'll look at that a little bit later. These trim pots, if you just use them to turn a transistor on and off, one thing you'll notice is with the uh, resistor here, it doesn't just turn on and off suddenly like that. It just starts getting up brighter and brighter. If you have a um, circuit that does turn directly on and off, if there's no hysteresis, these trim pots kind of bounce back their voltage a little bit when you let go of them, and so it may flicker off right away if you're right on the edge. And now we'll quickly take a look at uh, the voltage at the uh, base where we're given our signal. So I have the uh, cable that comes out of this portable oscilloscope and the uh, black alligator clip at the other end of the cable clipped to the blue jumper going to the negative rail. And so we consider that zero volts. We have the red alligator clip here clipped to a jumper going to the base. This is our voltage in relationship to the ground rail. And we know from uh, looking at this earlier, I have to raise the voltage to get the LED to go on. And you can see it curved up a little bit as I raised the voltage. And because of feedback, it actually dropped it down a little bit. But now it is solidly on and I'm at that point where it went on I gotta lower it a little bit and then you'll see right when it turns off we got a little jump so we can make this so we can see it a little easier instead of one volt per division it's 0.2 volts per division so it's about five times higher and I will turn this up a little bit and uh, you can see thanks to feedback it influenced the input signal and then now we'll lower it a little bit and again, because of feedback, it influenced it a little. But it's helping to hold it in the position that it is at. We have to overcome more ground than we covered to change it. So it's not a lot, but it's a little bit. It prevents a, a slight jitter or something from getting flashing on and off. It's more solid and distinct. So now to begin with, we have an LED and a protective resistor. I'm going to use a 1 kilo ohm in this particular one and so the line lead the anode of the LED is going to go to the resistor shortly the cathode to ground and because this area is crowded and everything I decided just to use a jumper to uh, bridge the gap between the two so short lead is the uh, cathode is going to go to that jumper to the negative rail line lead the anode is up here and I'm going to grab the uh, jumper right there and bring it up to the resistor and what you're going to notice is that in fact the LED is normally on so the uh, transistor will actually be on when the LED is off and when the transistor is off it'll be like it doesn't exist here you can see that why the uh, LED will be on while the transistor is off so now the transistor we're going to use is the 2N3904 we're going to use a couple of them but this first one here so this is the flat side facing us. That's a one, two, three emitter base collector. And so we want the collector to the middle of our load up there and the base, the middle pin we're gonna to put to that orange jumper and the emitter we're gonna to put to this gray jumper. So that will connect to this other transistor. We'll look at that coming up. Before we do though, on the emitter side, we're gonna put, in this case, a 100 ohm resistor. And so lower value resistors will work uh, just fine. But for the demonstration video, I find I get some more hysteresis with the 100 ohm resistor. So I decided to use that one. And then we come to the uh, other transistor right here. So when this transistor is off, we will have the resistor here that will turn that transistor on and the LED off. It'll take away that power. In fact, 
we can look at that right now. We'll take this one kilo ohm resistor, put it to the positive rail. So now the transistor is on and the LED is off because that's conducting, it conducts easier through the transistor and that resistor than the LED right there. So we drop the voltage basically below the LED, the voltage the LED needs to conduct. So to turn this on now, we need another transistor. So we have an inverter there. We need to invert it again. That transistor is off, so that one's on, which turns the LED off. And so we're gonna grab this again, the emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. We turn it that way and we have the same pin layout. So I put these jumpers here to fill in these gaps. So the uh, orange jumper and the resistor come to the collector. The base is just floating right now. And then the emitter over there goes to that uh, resistor to ground again. And again, it holds up the voltage. That's why we weren't dealing with 0.7 volts. We were dealing with a higher voltage. And as the transistors turn on and off, the voltage changes there. And uh, that's why we saw the voltage jumps. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, the uh, final thing to get the signal, because now this transistor's off and that's all it's gonna do, because there is no signal. We're gonna take a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Again, the exact value doesn't matter, but it can be a fairly high value resistor. We're gonna wire it to the middle pin of a trim pot. And this is a 10 kilo ohm trim pot. And nicely it has wires. And luckily the middle wire is the wiper. The other two wires at the end are the ends of the 10,000 ohm resistive element. And I'll slide that over there, keep a little bit room. And so the wiper connects somewhere along the path there of that resistive element. And so we can get an adjustable voltage right there. So the LED is off. I know that the voltage is too low, so I have to raise the voltage at the base. And now we get it solidly on, and now we have it solidly off. So again, as I said before, the voltage there changes because of the resistor. It doesn't go directly to ground, which would always hold it at zero volts. And we saw the jump before with the oscilloscope. When the uh, output changed, the transistor turned on or off, the voltage here turned on or off. That's why we got sudden jump levels. And in the process, it helps hold the condition that it is in. We have to move the trim pot a little bit further in the opposite direction to uh, change the output than the exact spot where it changed before. And while you're studying uh, Schmidt triggers and electronics hysteresis, you're gonna see something like this right here. And uh, I added some more. I did some more writing and stuff. But in any case, right now we're down below the point we need to turn the LED on so I'll go up above that point and so this indicates raising the voltage and then I raise it enough where it jumps up and I can raise it more I can raise it all I want the outputs not going to change and uh, we'll probably see when I get no I have a 10 kilo ohm resistor there and uh, if I didn't have a high value resistor there when I got almost to here it'd be the uh, direct positive rail and uh, it would be too much. So it's important to have a resistor there. Exact value though, doesn't matter, but definitely make sure you limit current. So now, we, uh, we're somewhere along here and uh, we need to go lower than we did to get it up. And so there you can see right at uh, that point, the LED goes off and we could turn it down even more. It'll stay off, but uh, the main thing is we still have to to get it to turn back on, we have to go up a little bit from the point where it turned off. So we have a little wiggle room there. So as I said before, these trim pots, when you stop, they kind of bounce back a little bit, the direction you came. So if you stop right where the LED turned off, if you don't have the Schmidt trigger, the hysteresis, it will bounce back and uh, change the state of the LED accidentally or just you know, sudden little voltage changes might make it flicker on and off. This hysteresis, for the most part, eliminates that. You know, you gotta make a, a big, like, voltage change to get it to turn on and off quickly. 
little voltage change just sputtering or whatnot a little bit of bounce back will not do it so in any case I'll uh, pop up some other videos make sure you check those out uh, subscribe and uh, click the bell so you get all updates of when I get my new videos and everything and uh, I'll see you in the next video